All right, well, ice tuna. Here's my method. Lots of methods, but this is how I do it: quick and fast. First, you have to cut, cut on top of the head, across the back, cut that off. Come around. Salmon bait, halibut bait, save it, belly, make a cut around there, around there, do a little start. Skin back. See a bloodline just just above it, cut down to the bone. And what I do is I come here just above or just to the outside of the spine. And cut back to the same bone. Then perfect loin. It's a little trimming to do. See how firm that is from being iced properly? What I do is I lay that down, look for the bloodline. Little trim. There you go. Perfect loin off a little peanut tuna. Repeat, lower loin, other side. You're done. This one actually I peel around the, the ribs and kind of can feel it with the knife. Most of it's gone from using that uh, bottom line for halibut bait. Again, a little blood on there. Try to do that for the camera. Take that off, discard it. the lower line, a little, little more trimming. What I do is I separate all my top loins from the bottom loins and uh, use the bottom loins for canned tuna, top loins for steaks, barbecue, and bottom loin. Repeat the same thing on the other side and you're done. Start cut. Fingers up there to peel it. A nice firm loin out, so stiff it just sits there in your hand. Loin. Again, just below the bloodline. Hands in there to feel the rib cage, you kind of peel it around the ribs. Try not to get into the funky stuff there. So usually I come back and do this, but I'm doing it just for the camera. Actually, I want to I don't want to stick it in that. Right here.
in lower loins. I segregate the cannon, trim off that gaff shot there, or bloodletting shot. So you got bottom loins and top loins.